You've heard it before. Parents have said you'll lose your eyesight. You'll become a zombie <laughs> and a couch potato if you keep playing all those video games. We've heard them say that, but here's the real thing. Video games might actually be good for you, but of course there's a catch that comes along with it. Steve Gargiola takes a deep dive into the benefits of video games. Kids, listen up. Do you or someone in your family play video games? Because sometimes video games get a bad rap. You know all the downside, but sometimes gaming can actually be healthy for your brain. At this point, your teen or preteen is saying, see mom, I told you, video games are good for you. Okay, it's not quite that simple. It has to be the right kind of game and under the right circumstances. Dr. Emily Diala says there are brain benefits if you keep the gaming activity under control. Like anything, it can kind of suck you in and before you realize hours have gone by. Time and convenience are issues. As parents get busier, there's a temptation to use the game console or television as a caretaker. And for certain is, is the uh, uh, easy out for sure to, you know, just watch some cartoons for 20 minutes. But there's no need to abandon video games for your children. It's all about the games you choose. Dr. Stacy Leatherwood, a pediatrician at Henry Ford Hospital, helped develop a game that you'd want to encourage your little ones to play. We came up with a fun way that we could kind of introduce healthy habits. We know that a lot of kids play video games, and this is just another game that they can play. But while they're playing, they're going to learn some healthy information. The game is called 5210, which means five fruits and vegetables a day, two hours or less of recreational screen time, one hour more of physical activity, and zero sweetened drinks. Granted, your older kids are going to want a little more action in their video games, and there are health benefits there too. Developing analytical skills, eye-hand coordination, decision-making. Doctors have discovered that video games, if chosen carefully, can offer medical benefits, even diagnosing medical conditions like concussion. It's a digital prescription, which might sound funny, but it works. Um, so they actually have games that are in the works right now that will be classified as digital prescriptions. You'll have a tough time avoiding video games with your children, so point them in the right direction early. Parents are telling us they're asking for more water and they're asking about vegetables and that sort of thing. And then we've also had kids that um, have really enjoyed spending that time with their parents. One of our games is a more interactive game. It's called Quality Time. It's the two games, so two hours or less of recreational screen time. Whether it's with a video game or time with mom and dad, quality time is what it's all about. I'm Steve Garagiola, Local 4. And I guess you could put that into perspective when it comes to all things like our social media and that right. kind of thing too. But you know what? Quality time and getting outdoors, mm -hmm. right? How about that? It's a good one. It's a good suggestion.